Guys, I'm just getting home from work and Terry actually just got back from taking Carmen to tumbling. I'm gonna give you guys an update on my leg at the end of the video here, but we checked the mailbox tonight and we hit the jackpot. Everybody, welcome back to our channel. Okay, so today we are headed back to Utah, back to where it is not so dang cold. I am not a fan of the cold, so I'm quite excited to get home. Got everybody in here, loaded up, headed back home. Quickly left the on Clay's leg. It's actually feeling a little bit better today. Still has some pain, right? Yeah, still got some pain in my calf and in my uh, my left foot and my right foot. I uh, still got some some pain in there, but my hands are, are not as bad as they were last night, but I can still feel a little bit of tingling in there. So it's just weird they didn't find anything because there's something going off. For sure. So we have our fingers crossed that the doctors in Utah are going to have some more answers for us and some reasoning as to why this might be happening. Good morning everybody. We had to go to bed as soon as we got home last night because it was late by the time we got the car unloaded, went and picked the dogs up from the dog sitter. We were all exhausted and ready to just go to bed. So that is what we did. We are now up this morning. I went to the gym for the first time since surgery. I finally got the clearance from the physical therapist that I could go to the gym, ride the bike, do some walking. And so that is what I did this morning and it felt so good to get back to the gym. My knee's gonna be sore. I know I can feel it. I'm trying to <laughs> stretch it out. I've taken some ibuprofen. Hopefully it won't be too sore, but it feels so good to be back at the gym and getting a good workout. The kids are just starting to wake up and we're gonna get this house cleaned up, organized, put back together. You know how it is when we get home from a trip. Tons of crap to put away. So that is what we're gonna get done today. Carmen's just having herself some breakfast here. What are you having for breakfast? Nolly over with Oreo crumbs. So it's not really breakfast, it's more like a snack, right? Because it has Oreos in it. It's like a snack if you ask me. <laughs> what else would you like me to make you for breakfast? Maybe some eggs and bacon or something? Maybe, yeah. Does that sound good? Mm -hmm. We woke up this morning to about three inches of snow. So apparently the cold weather followed us home from Wyoming. We desperately need the water, so we're super grateful for this snow. Although we are all feeling the itch for the warm spring weather, this snow is greatly, greatly appreciated and we definitely need it. So thankful for that. Carmen, you're all done with your breakfast. You decided you don't want eggs and bacon because your friends just knocked on the door and you're dying to go out and play, am I right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. I need you to get the vacuum out and vacuum the rug and hardwood for me really fast and then you can go play. Okay. Kids have been such a huge help today, getting the house all cleaned up, getting the laundry all washed and put away. Having the wash and dryer downstairs is such a blessing. The boys do all their own laundry, so I don't have to wash it and fold it anymore. They do all of that downstairs, so it makes my laundry load a heck of a lot lighter. Carmen has tumbling tonight. She has come so far in tumbling, and I think the last time I talked to you, Carmen, about this, you had your back handspring, is that right? Yeah, well, okay, what happened was I went to cheer one time, and I totally forgot. I thought I could do it because I could do it on the spring floor and I tried doing it on the grass and I did do it mm -hmm. and I walk in the chair and I do it and I landed on my face. Had a little accident with that. You've been working on your back handspring ever since then, right? Yeah. Do you have it now where you can do it on the floor? No. On the trampoline? Yeah, I can do it down the climb out on the trampoline. All right. Well, maybe tonight, if they will let me come in and film her for a second, I will try and get some footage of her working on her back handspring. All right, Carmen, you ready to go tumbling? You need a coat, because it is really cold outside. Yes. Winter has come back. Got one right here. All right, let's go. Guys, I'm just getting home from work, and Terry actually just got back from taking Carmen to tumbling. I'm gonna give you guys an update on my leg at the end of the video here, but we checked the mailbox tonight and we hit the jackpot. There is a lot of mail here. Most of it's for Terry and her birthday. So if you guys have sent us something, you've been waiting for us to open that up, get excited because we're gonna do it right now. So not all the mail was for mom. Two of those letters were for you and Carmen. Can I go, can I go? Oh, I guess, all right. Yay. They're from a girl named Claire Christensen. Claire Christensen sent a letter to both Claire and Carmen. Carmen's gonna go first so we don't have any trouble here. Is that right? Okay, all right. She drew me this really cute picture of, of the rainbow. How pretty. It is pretty. To Carmen from Claire. Very pretty. All the colors from the rainbow top to bottom. Fabulous. That is great. And on the back. Perfect. Claire, check yours out. Oh, it's kind of like the same thing. All right. To Claire M from Claire C. <laughs> I love it. 
Green, blue, red? CM, my initials. That's awesome. All right, thank, <laughs> thank you, you, Claire. Thanks for watching. All right, Sarah, you ready? Open the big boy. Are you sure? You want to start with that? I feel like we should start with a few of these letters. All right, we're going to open up some of these letters. From Albany, Washington. Wow. Okay, but there's no name on it. I'm not on the outside anyway. On your birthday, relax and enjoy your day. To Terry, happy birthday from Ellen and Angela Edwards. Ellen and Angela Edwards. Yes. Thank you very much for Great. thinking of me on my birthday. That's very nice. This is from Alyssa Corwin. Cohen, sorry. <laughs> Another birthday card. Happy birthday. Surprising. You're the kind of person everybody wants to celebrate from Alyssa. Wow. Thank you, Alyssa. Alyssa is, she's correct. <laughs> this is from Kent. It's from Florida. Florida. Happy birthday. Look at those cupcakes, Carm. Is this from Camp Alone? Yes. I hope your knee is getting better. Praying for you and Austin and your whole family. Love always, Kent. Nice. Thank you. We actually drove through Kent Camp Alone's hometown <laughs> when we went up to that uh, game in Tampa Bay. So, very nice place. All right, you got a few more there. Terry's very popular here. She gets all the letters, apparently. <laughs> I'll probably get like one letter. You got like 15. <laughs> all right, this one's from Britt from Colorado. It says, Get well soon. I saw that you had knee surgery, Terry. Have a nice day and hope you get feeling better. Love, Britt. So she sent us a few. There's one here that was, happy, happy birthday to you, Terry. Have a nice and fun birthday. Love, Britt. Wow. Thanks you so much. Thanks you. Thanks, thanks you. <laughs> thanks you, Britt. <laughs> Thank you, Britt, for sending those. Very, very kind. Uh, we have to laugh at ourselves because we cannot talk sometimes. All right, we have a couple packages here. Carmen is very excited for this one. What's your guess? A box. What's inside that box? Anyone? I'm going to guess a candle. Oh, I'm oh. I beat you guys to it. Happy birthday, Terry. Something to remind you of Hawaii from Alicia and Trisha Trevillo. Wow. Thank you. Dang. Now I'm excited. Open this thing up. I think that it's, it may or may not be one of those candles that once you light it and you let it sit enough, there's something inside of it. It may or may not be one of those candles. Ooh, sure. Coconut Beach. Ooh. Okay, you know me very well. Pass it around. <laughs> Pass it around. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I love anything coconut. Mm. Smells delicious. You want to smell? Uh, sure. Oh, very nice. That's very, very nice. Thank you so much. Leisha and Trisha. Trisha. Thank you. There we go. Hello, one. You got another And the last one. Right here. Happy birthday, Terry. A little something for mother daughter spa night from Alicia and Trisha again. Oh, wow. Face masks. Nice. Anti stress face masks. Oh, huh, let me have a little. It actually smells good, too. That just stressed out. Ooh, it does smell good. Well, I want to think of those to try, girls, since you <laughs> love face masks so much. You want to smell? Yes, I do. <laughs> I can't wait for the mother daughter spa night coming. It's Maybe that's mask. coming tomorrow. Coming right up. It's a clay mask <laughs> for you, Dad. Oh, really? It's a clay mask. Nice. Thank you Thank so you. much for thinking of us, everyone. It's very nice. The girls are trying this face mask. We are definitely going to save most of it for the spa night coming up, but they put some on their cheeks and their chins, apparently. Is it drying yet? No, not yet. You just I got just, it on there? I just put it on. So. Okay, Carmen, it's yours. Oh, very cute. Very, very cute. You got a little on your nose there. Yeah. We need some cucumbers. Oh. Some cucumbers. We we'll put Looks. it on our eyes, we'll, and then we we'll put on the full face mask, and then it'll be a mother daughter spa day. Okay, we'll get some cucumbers. <laughs> Guys, as promised, I want to give you an update on my leg. My left calf has still been killing me today, and then uh, quite a bit of pain in both my left and right foot. Terry called around, tried to give me an appointment with my doctor today. He was not in, not available, and so we're going to have to uh, schedule with him a little bit later in the week. But tomorrow, I'm going to go meet with my chiropractor and uh, get adjusted, get a massage, and uh, see if it's just something pinched in my back. I just I started to panic the other night when it was just like, you know, the pain got worse and then it like moved into my feet and then my arms and my hands started going numb. And then, you know, I was like, okay, they're like, do you feel any problems with your chest? I'm like, well, it's a little bit sore. And so uh, it just kind of like, you know, it's all coming to my head like, oh crap, I better go get checked and make sure I'm not having a heart attack or anything crazy. And, uh, you know, just weird they didn't find anything, but uh, still something's going on. So to me, it feels like it's a blood clot. Like, I don't know what they really feel like, but it just seems like something's not, you know, blood may not be moving down there. I don't know. So do you have any thoughts? I think we definitely need to go to the chiropractor. He will have his massage therapist massage your leg and hopefully like if it's just muscle spasms, which is what the ER doctor 
said he thought it was is just his leg is having muscle spasms that are moving kind of down into his feet and stuff like that. But once we do get him into the doctor, unfortunately our main doctor is booked out until March 8th. Oh wow. So if the chiropractor does not help, then we're gonna have to just go into urgent care and see if we can get them to do an ultrasound. We've had a lot of comments on why did the hospital not do an ultrasound the night we were in there? It's because it's a very small hospital and they do not have technicians like that on call like on a regular basis, so they could not do an ultrasound that night. They didn't have a current ultrasound working at the hospital. She was gonna start the following day, and that was the day we were headed back. And so he was like, you can come back in, it's your first day. I was like, oh, I don't know if that's such a good idea. <laughs> I'll just wait till I get back to Utah where I know there's many people that can do an ultrasound. And so uh, obviously our doctor is, is busy, so we'll find somebody else if that's the case and uh, get this thing figured out. I was just kind of panicking the other night, so. But I'm gonna be all right, hopefully. <laughs> if not, we'll just amputate it, I'll get a pet leg i'll be fine i'll be fine so just We're kidding gonna get to the bottom of it. <laughs> guys we appreciate you watching we love you i'll see you guys back here tomorrow